Welcome to Toilet Philosophy, Toilet Philosophy. I'm Brim Refresh. <laughs> okay, but seriously though, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make this quick, concise. I'm talking about thought. I'm talking about energy and I'm talking about infinity. Okay, so there's a thought. A thought is creative. And that thought ripples and ripples and ripples and ripples. And let's imagine that the universe is a circle or a square or anything that we can put an edge to. Okay, and let's imagine that that ripple hits the edge and then ripples back. Hits the edge, ripples back. Hits the edge, ripples back. Okay, so as this thought is rippling through the universe, there are those beings who hear the thought and identify with it. Those are two totally different things. There's, there's three categories. Either you don't hear it at all, you're not in the time or space for it, you hear it and you let it go, or you hear it and you identify with it. Huh. I need to make my Instagram be aesthetically pleasing. You're right, I'm gonna go on my Instagram and delete everything that doesn't fit my money-making goals. Okay, so the real question is, where did that thought come from? What created it? For what reason? Why am I choosing to listen to it? What is it doing for me, if anything? The reason I say this is because, boy, oh boy, if I'm not the only one in the damn world who listens to thoughts that do not personally serve Brianna's reality. Or maybe they do. Or maybe they don't. Who fucking knows anymore? <laughs> but honestly, there are times when I will do whatever it is that I hear. In, in fact, sometimes it can be the subtlest little thought that comes in that tells me to do something like move my hair or itch my nose or sit on the toilet and do a philosophy talk. And I do it. Today's talk is mainly for anyone who's going through what I go through. Anyone who hears more than they wish to hear and identifies with what doesn't necessarily serve them or they don't see why it is serving them in the moment. Here's to those of us that can change the world, that can create new ripples and new thoughts and new waves that are struggling with the ones that are very strong already. It's hard not to get washed away by a wave that has gotten so big. It's hard to jump, it's hard to dive under it. Could you imagine there's a wave, a wave in the, in the ocean, an ocean wave. You're in the ocean and you dive under the ocean, wave that is. And for a split second, you look up into the ocean and the ocean is labeled Instagram. And you see 
a visual of every being in that wave. Now imagine being under the wave for the second split second and seeing those beings around you that did the same thing. They jumped under the wave. Those ones are also looking around. Imagine the beings that are underneath that not only dove under the wave but kept swimming and made a home under the water to watch as the waves pass by and what, what they are and who's writing them. I'm not going to rant much longer because I don't have any direction as to where this is going or what I'm saying. It's so funny, the thought that it needs to have a purpose and you need to have a goal. When in reality, we're saying things to each other and we may not even realize the impact that we're having on the other person's life. And the other person might not even realize the impact till later. Impact, that's a funny word, impact. Imagine it like, poof. Do you realize, do you feel it, do you know? Do I, am I ready? What am I doing this for? What do I post this for? Do I post this for myself? Do I post it for you? I'm sure as hell I'm not making money off of it. At one point in time, I was posting YouTube videos because I could make money. But in all reality, I would have to have hundreds of thousands of views in order to make any decent amount of income from YouTube. So clearly, what I'm posting is something that I need to hear. You need to hear, because you and I, we come from the same place, as far as I know. Labels, labels are a tricky thing. I'm not going to get into those. I could rant forever. There's my toilet philosophy. The question I pose to you that I want to leave you with is, what waves do you ride? And where are those waves taking you? Love you. Blessings.